Hey folks, welcome to 4th of July Van Camp 402. I am in my driveway right now, just pulling out to go camp. The uh, 4th of July is first happy birthday America, right? But I'm just not a huge fan of fireworks. Being in the profession that I was in, the dogs definitely do not like fireworks either. So we're gonna go do a little Interstate 80 camping. And I just wanted to show you folks a good option if you're traveling across this great nation of ours in middle America, a free spot that you can camp. So we're gonna go check out two sites. I kinda, I think I already know where we're gonna end up. I just wanted to show you a couple of the options. We'll get back to you as we get closer. It's kind of nice. Sorry, trying not to get whacked. It's kind of nice, they're both really close. I do have the dogs with me for right now. My wife is gonna be stopping by later and grabbing them. We just needed to get them off our circle for a little bit. The fireworks have just been nuts on our street and good for folks, but uh, Sookie's having a really hard time with it. So anyway, welcome to Van Camp 402. I'm gonna show you a cool little option if you're traveling across on I-80 for a place to stay in Omaha, Nebraska that's free, hopefully quiet and safe. All right, let's get to camp. two very good solid options right here at I-80 and the 144th Street exit in Omaha, Nebraska. The Sapp Brothers does allow you to camp in their parking lot. Not camp, I'm sorry. Stay overnight in their parking lot. They did say that there was, because I called earlier, they said there could be sometimes there's a $15 fee. She said that they, since it's the holiday and stuff, they would waive that and especially since I was in a van, they were fine. My issue is, and I'll spin you folks around here real quick, um, you can tell the sun's backing me, is the sun. There is, there's hardly any shade here. So let's uh, let's show you what we're working with here at Sap Brothers. So as you can see over here, quite a few semis. And we're gonna swing around. Here's the sign and the fuel pumps. They do have a burrito type place, and I believe it's kind of along the lines of a Qdoba type deal. You can order what you want. But so I would be out here in this parking lot, and as you can see, there's big rigs, gonna be a lot of noise, I would think, especially over on this side here. All these trucks are, every single one of them is running right now. So my only option would be this area over here, and as you can see, here comes the truck pulling through. Thing would be busy. So with that in mind, no shade, a lot of truck traffic. I would like having a convenience store right here if I need something. So right now we're gonna uh, just zip across 144th and hit this cracker barrel. Here are the puppy dogs. They're just hanging out. Aren't you guys? How you doing, Sook? She does not like the fireworks. You don't like fireworks, do you, girl? Across the street here, we have a Casey's, and we are gonna be, you can see the sign right there, we're gonna be tucked back in there at the Cracker Barrel. Looks like we do have another van here. Is cool but as you can see here the uh, being able to have the shade I think we found our spot right here perfect what do you think maybe huh we are here at the cracker barrel stay stay
Well, as you can see, we're back from our walk. My wife is bringing, and thankfully she was coming, and I am not, you know, an hour away or whatever. I don't have my little battery-powered uh, rechargeable fan with me. And that's part of the reason the dogs are so hot, too. I usually set it on the floor and have the fan run a little bit for them. We're just going to chill for a little bit. My, like I said, my wife is coming. She's going to come grab the dogs. We just needed somebody with them at all times. And she had some errands to run. I'm like, shoot, I'll take them out to camp with me. It is interesting. I can hear. So Interstate 80 is literally right here. You can hear that, hear the truck noise. But it's when people get off the exit. That's what's the closest to us. So that's what we're hearing. In a little bit, after I don't have the dogs, we are going to go do a lap with the camera. And I'll show you folks around uh, where we're parked right now. Hopefully you folks can hear me okay. It is, like I said, the 4th of July. We have a lot of fireworks, and I thought the interstate would be a little bit quieter. I'm sure as it gets dark tonight, that's gonna settle down. One of the cool things I like where I'm parked right now, I'm on, I have this little island right here that we backed up into, and I'll show that a little closer here in a minute. What's really nice is there's a trash can right here. That helps, I've already picked up some trash. It's nice, man, if I have a few things that I need to get rid of, or if you have a few things you need to get rid of, man, there's a trash can right where you're parked. So as you can see, we're in a pretty good spot here. Do have a little bit of interstate noise behind me. It's not bad, kind of a hum, kind of uh, you're just gonna have to get used to it. The fireworks are gonna be tough. I thought it'd be a little bit quieter. There must be a neighborhood just close enough that that's the sound I'm getting. And I think it's the way the wind's blowing too. Man, some of those trucks are loud right there. But we're still just waiting just a minute for my wife to come pick up the dogs and then I'm gonna try and get the uh, drone up here just for a little bit, so it should be fun. Dogs are having a tough time. I don't have my fan, she's supposed to be bringing my fan. And uh, so they're hot in here, I gotta keep the doors open. It's just a balancing act right now. But I'm excited for camp. <laughs>
All right, as you can see, we're at the Cracker Barrel. I'm gonna uh, shut her down for the night. We'll check back in. If anything does happen tonight, I'll uh, definitely turn the cameras on and let you know. But for right now, we're gonna uh, watch some fireworks. I'm gonna throw the drone back up in the air just for a couple of minutes and uh, try and capture some of the Omaha skyline tonight. Happy 4th of July to everybody, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, folks. We really uh, slept really well. I'm still kind of tired. It's a little early this morning. It's uh, it's always cool to me. You never know uh, sleeping on these deals. You know, there's construction this morning. There's <laughs> uh, guys are working. It's a perfect 72 degrees in here. We slept great last night. Like slept really, really well. So I put this up on this side for the lock, and I had the curtains up, and that was it. Couldn't have been easier, simpler, quiet, free. Definitely uh, two thumbs up on this camp. We are 144th Street and I-80 in Omaha, Nebraska. We slept for free last night. Actually, uh, had a great sleep, uh, a good camp. This is a good spot. Man, that drone stuff is cool, isn't it? Flying that thing. All right, let's get a couple of things done here. We're gonna get loaded up and headed home. Quick and simple, easy camp on this one. All right, for right now, we do need to get out of here. You're supposed to put this protective cover thing over the drone, over the camera, in transport. Nice. Oops. All right, we got that on there. Oh, you can hear that. Let's get all this put away here. <laughs> Those guys are working this morning. Like I said, we had a great camp here last night. This was uh, very solid. We are right on I-80. If you're traveling through, this is a great option. Great option. Free, right here off the interstate. You get to see a little of the uh, behind the scenes stuff this morning. This is the camera gear 101, working with the tripods and tripod heads and all that stuff. Keep all this right here. Let's get our shoes on and we're gonna get on the road. Our first stop is Casey, so we're gonna get some coffee up there. Oh, we made it. Uh, my neighbor over here is gone already this morning. Get this fired up. Get these. Uh, these are so nice to let air in, but it's still, I feel secure. Good morning, folks. We are moving and grooving. Everybody, take care. Enjoy your weekend if you have the weekend off. If you have to work, thank you for working today and uh, this weekend. America appreciates it <laughs> on its birthday. Oh, you gotta keep cranking, right? Everybody take care. Our next adventure, I am, and I can't divulge anything. I'm trying to keep this one secret. I haven't even told like good friends what I'm doing on our next adventure. So our next video, 
should be pretty cool. Should be pretty fun. I'm gonna sign off here, folks. We're gonna uh, check on out. We're pulling out. I'm about, I don't know, six minutes from home, which is cool. <laughs> no fuel, no fuel cost, and uh, no campground fee or anything like that. We couldn't have a fire. Uh, it was cool though, man, throwing that drone up. See, and this is what happens. I start going on. We gotta cut her off. Folks, everybody take care. Thanks for being here. We have a bunch of new subscribers. Uh, it's been kind of a cool thing to watch and see it grow. And we will see you on our next adventure. Everybody take care, stay safe. Uh -huh.